Welcome to HortTube, where we talk all things gardening. My name is Jim Putnam, and this is a Gold Mound Spirea. This is Gold Mound Spirea, a low-growing deciduous shrub with this beautiful lime green foliage and clusters of pink flowers. Gold Mound grows in a low domed shape. You can maintain these between two to three feet in height, but they can get as wide as four feet over time. Like most spirea, gold mound's extremely cold hardy. This can grow all the way up to zone four and down to zone eight. Gold mound would have a moderate growth rate. Once these are established, we may actually get six inches all the way around on one of these in a single season. Gold mound is definitely a sun loving plant. You won't get very much of this lime green foliage if you put it in less than a half a day sun. So at least a half a day and all the way to full sun would be ideal. There are a lot of uses for gold mound spirea. If you have depth on your foundation and you can have two rows, I'll generally plant something that's evergreen on the back row. But since these lose their leaves, I would put them in the front. But this is a great low growing shrub for a, on a foundation that we have low windows. The other uses for it are they look fantastic, mass planted. Gold Mound Spirea looks great with purple foliage things. So if you're in an area in the south where you can grow Laura Petalum, Laura Petalum behind these look fantastic. If you're in the cooler areas of the country, barberries look great planted behind these with that purple foliage. They also work great as container plants. I'll typically put one of these in the front of a large container and then put a larger growing shrub behind them. Really the main feature of Gold Mound Spirea is this lime green foliage, which looks at its best in the spring as it's coming out and until about midsummer. Then it tends to fade a little bit and it's not quite as showy as it is right now. It will get these clusters of pink flowers in the late spring, mid to late spring. I, I'm not that impressed with the flowers on Gold Mound. I grow Little Princess and a few of the other Spireas because the flowers are so showy against the green foliage. But this pink flower really doesn't show up all that well against this lime green foliage. So I'm, I don't want to discount they do flower and they have a lot of flowers on them, but really I'm growing them for the lime green foliage. I've linked videos on planting woody shrubs in the description of this video. You really just don't have to worry too much about spirea. I would consider this a really industrial plant. As long as you don't plant it too deep and overwater it, these would be, actually be hard to kill. Spirea is definitely a drought tolerant plant. Once these are established, you just don't really have to do a lot of ongoing watering. But with that said, if it becomes abnormally dry, these will shed some interior leaves. They'll lose some of this bright new foliage. They may not bloom as well if it's dry in the late spring. So this is a plant that you might keep an eye on in May and June and July to keep it to keep it looking its best, you may need to apply some additional water to it. The main reason we're growing Gold Mound Spirea is for this lime green foliage and you get much more of that new growth by fertilizing them. And I'd fertilize them in the early springs. They're starting to leaf out with any outdoor slow release fertilizer. The best time to prune Gold Mound Spirea is before they wake up in the late winter. You'll end up with a much more dense plant and each of these pieces with the new growth on them, we'll have clusters of flowers. So you'll end up with a lot more flowers as well by doing that. Not a lot of pests on spirea, really. If they're planted in a shady space, you can get leaf spot issues on this foliage, but as long as they're allowed to dry out pretty quickly in the morning, usually that's not a problem. We get aphids on the new growth on spirea in the spring, especially again, if they're in a spot where they're not getting any air movement across them, that can be worse. Um, uh, aphids are soft bodied insects, so they're organic and non-organic options to control those pretty easily. Spirea are all considered deer resistant and barberries are as well. So if you end up using that combination of barberries and gold mound spirea in an area that has deer pressure, that's probably a pretty good combination. So what are you waiting for? Even you can grow the industrial low maintenance gold foliage gold mound spirea. Thank you for watching my video, and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about spireas. Thanks again.